Hey Calvary, I am Pastor Joe and I have your word for the day. One of my favorite Bible characters in the Old Testament is Caleb. You can read about Caleb in Joshua 13 and 14 and you might remember the story of the Israelites. Uh, they were rescued from Egypt and they were led to wander in the wilderness for 40 years under the leadership of Moses. But did you know the Israelites were not supposed to wander in the wilderness for 40 years? When God rescued the Israelites, he planned on using Moses to lead the Israelites right to the promised land. But the Israelites messed up God's plan. Soon after they left Egypt, Moses took the Israelites right up to the edge of the promised land. And because it was occupied by other people, Moses sent 12 scouts or spies to go check out the land. Caleb was one of those 12 scouts. When the 12 scouts returned, 10 of them said that the lamb was absolutely amazing, but the people of the lamb were too powerful. And Caleb and Joshua said, God has given us this land. By faith, we can overpower these people and claim what God has promised. But the Israelites listened to the fear of the other 10 scouts. Fear won over faith. The Israelites chose the, the fear over the faith of Caleb and Joshua, and they chose to reject God's promised land. So that's why the Israelites wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. An entire generation of Israelites died off except for Caleb and Joshua. Both now, 40 years later, were old men. Caleb was 85 years old and Joshua had become the leader of the Israelites. And now God once again, under Joshua's leadership, led them to the edge of the promised land. The land was still amazing and the inhabitants of the land were still powerful. And 85-year-old Caleb did not shy away from claiming the promise God had made him. Listen to part of this speech he made from Joshua 14. He said, Now as you can see, the Lord has kept me alive and well as he promised for all these 45 years since Moses made this promise, even while Israel wandered in the wilderness. Today, I am 85 years old. I am as strong now as I was when Moses sent me on that journey and I can still travel and fight as well as I could then. So give me the hill country that the Lord promised me. You will remember that as scouts, we found, we found the descendants of Anak living there in a great walled towns. But if the Lord is with me, I will drive them out of the land just as the Lord said. Man, I got to tell you, most 85-year-olds are not thinking about what their next step of faith is going to be. But here was Caleb willing to go and fight for the land that God had promised him. He went for the toughest spot of land to demonstrate to the Israelites that those inhabitants were not invincible. Now, regardless of how strong you may or may not be, if God chooses to give you power over your enemies, or if God chooses to call you to step out in faith, no matter the, the Goliaths or the giants that are standing in your way, if God is leading you, they will fall. Now, if you're a follower of Jesus, remember this. You have promises that God has made. Uh, you have every promise of Scripture guaranteed to you. You have promises of hope, promises of joy, promises of peace, promises of answered prayer, promises of victory, promises of the comfort of the Holy Spirit, promises of experiencing the love of God. All of those are yours. In this weird season that we are in right now, you could allow fear to creep up and overpower your faith. But remember this, faith always views the promises of God as certain, as a fact, as though they had already taken place. Faith sees what others cannot grasp because faith sees God, not the circumstances. 
So I want to encourage you, choose to live by faith. Claim the promises of God found in Jesus and let your faith triumph over fear today. Well, thanks for joining us. If this blessed you today, as with all of our word for the days, if it blesses you, like it and share it with somebody else. Have a great day and God bless.